Welcome back to Angular JS tutorial series part 12. My name is Nisha Singla and in this video we will learn about filters in Angular JS. Filters are helpful to modify or format the data before displaying it to user. So to apply filter you need to use pipe character. Filter can also take arguments. They are delimited by column symbol after the filter name. Filter can be used in view templates, controllers or services. AngularJS has predefined filters for most of common data transformation. Filters can do three things. It can format, filter or sort the data. So in this video we will learn only about those filters that is used to format the data. So let's start with the first filter that is your uppercase. Uppercase filter is basically used to transform the string into uppercase. Lowercase is the opposite of uppercase that is used to transform the string to lowercase. Currency formats the number as a currency. Number filter format an expression as a number. Date filter is basically used to represent a date object into a string. JSON filter is basically formats an object to a JSON string. AngularJS also have a filter with name filter itself that basically used to select a subset of elements from a string or array. Limit to filter limits an array or string to a specify element or characters. Audible filter is used for sorting. So let's understand these filters with practical demonstration. So flip to your editor and for this video I have already set up a basic file structure in folder 12. Here I have one index.html file app.js for my module and my angular script and in index.html I have already included my angular script and my app.js file. So move to app.js. Here I have created one module and on this module I have created my users controller. In this controller I have created a users that is holding an array of object and here I have stored few information about the users like ID, name, gender, date of birth and salary. Now move to index.html and I have already referred this controller using ng controller directive here and I have display a array of object using ng repeat directive. In the previous video I have already discussed how to use ng repeat directive. If you didn't cover that my video please visit this link. Now let me show you how exactly how it will display right now. So as of now the output is something like this. Here you will notice that I have used salary column twice one as a number and second as a currency because I am going to use my filter here. So let's move and first we will discuss about the uppercase filter. As the name suggests uppercase filter converts a string into uppercase. Here I have name column and I want to convert the value of name column into uppercase. Suppose I want to format this name column to uppercase. So I, as I told you to use filter you just need to use pipe character and mention the filter name. So my filter name is uppercase. Now move to the browser and check the output. This column should change to uppercase. Now you can see all the values of name now has been changed to uppercase. So same you can use lowercase suppose the value of gender I want to change to lowercase so you will apply the same way lowercase filter that is used to format the output in lowercase. So now gender column will change all its value to lowercase. Now moving to third filter that is date filter. Date filter basically format the date into string according to the given format. So you have to decide in which format you want to display your date. As of now you can check this date is displaying as a string which is holding complete date and time. Let's first understand the different date formats that you can use in AngularJS. See there are different type of format that you can use to display your date. As you can see here if you put uh, 4 times y it will represent your date in 4 digit like 1990, 1989 like this. If you put the year in 2 digit it will display the digit in a 2 year like in terms of 1990 it will take the 2 digit 90 from the end. Same to represent month we have 4 format. So 4 times if you write the M it will display the month like this from January to December. If you display the month in 3 digit it will display like this and same for date 
we have two format dd and 1d it will represent the date like 0 1 to 31 and 1 to 31 now let's try few of the format so i want to format this date of birth so you just need to use date pipe now this date filter takes parameters so you have to use colon sign and you have to mention here the format so now i want to display month as a two digit so you will use mm and I want to display date and four digit year so you just need to write four times y. Save the changes and check the output. So now you can check the date has been changed according to the format that I have given. Now moving to the next filter that is number filter. Number filter formats a number as text. So let's try number filter. So to apply number filter you need to use number filter. Number filter although take arguments but let's try it without argument. So if you only use number filter it will add a separator after each third digit. So let's move to the browser and check as of now it display like this. Now refresh the browser and it will affect by the number filter. So you can check here it will put a separator after three digit. Number filter also take an argument so that is your fraction size so after this if you will put any value it actually the fraction size. Fraction size means the number of decimal places to round the number 2 and the default is 3. So here if I say 2 so it will round the number to 2. So after decimal it points 2 digits. So this is your number filter. The next one is currency filter. Currency filter converts a number into proper currency format along with the currency symbol. By default it showed dollar symbol as a currency symbol but we can also change currency symbol according to our requirement. So let's move to the code and now the last column is a salary column and here I want to use my currency symbol. As I told you if you don't mention any currency symbol by default it will take dollar sign. So let's check this one. So you can check here the dollar sign is added as a currency symbol. You can also pass argument to the currency filter. So the first argument is the currency symbol that you want to display. So here suppose I am saying I want to display USD here as a symbol. So now when you refresh you will check USD will be added. So maybe I want to display Indian currency. So you just need to pass the entity for that one. and save the changes and now check it will add Indian currency here. Second argument of the currency filter is the fraction size. Here the fraction size means the number of decimal places to round the amount to. Default will take according to the current locale but suppose I want to round to two digit. So by default take two here as of now so move it and change it to one and check now. So after decimal it will round the amount to one digit and one more filter here we have that is called JSON filter. JSON filter is used to convert the JavaScript object to a JSON string. So generally it will be helpful while debugging the code. So let's try here the JavaScript object that we have is a complete object array object users so let's try to display it as a JSON format so I'm creating here a div and here I want to display this users object as a JSON so you just need to use pipe symbol and the filter name JSON and you can check here it will display in a JSON format but it is not that much readable so let's make it more readable by putting this in a pre tag So now you can check my complete JavaScript object is represented in a JSON format. So it will be quite helpful for debugging the code. JSON filter also takes one argument for spacing. Spacing is the number of spaces to use per indentations and the default is 2. You can also pass your value. So maybe I want to pass 10. Now save the changes and try. It will add some space. So you can check the spaces here. So this is all for today and in this video we have discussed only about those filters that is used to format the data like lowercase, uppercase, date, number, currency and JSON. In upcoming videos we are going to discuss about sorting filter and searching filter. Till then take care. Bye bye.